good morning. My name is Marge. Oops, I'm. That's okay. Uh, I work in career services uh, in the Fall River campus, and I help students to uh, decide which path they want to go in, or um, maybe they know where they want to be heading, but how to do that, and so on. So, uh, the college has on Fall River a career center, and I come here the second Thursday of the month to to work with students here on, on this campus, and that seems to work out pretty well. So today's workshop is going to be covering how do I explore a career, and then how do I interview. And one thing kind of flows into the other, so it's a nice group of ideas. Uh, before I forget, let me just go over some of the other people in our career services. Jeff Craig is our job developer, so if you need help with developing a job, uh, he has employers calling him and telling him about different types of openings, and he starts a database of different jobs. And from there, if you sit down with him with your resume, he can help you to get into that database, and on a weekly basis, he sends you what, whatever job openings he has. And then Pat Condon is our career coordinator and she also works with students in, in career planning. Uh, and we also go into different classrooms and things like that. So let's get started with uh, the whole area of career exploration. Could you tell us a little bit about where you'd like to be looking? Okay, no clue at all. In the medical field, okay, and that's you've really narrowed it down, and that's part part of your job and my job is to help students to narrow because they like a lot of things. Now, do you know what you'd like to be doing in the medical field? Okay, so there, there we have kind of a wall, and we're looking at the medical field, but what do I want to do in it? Okay, what, what would you like to be doing? Um, undecided. Okay. Now, do you have a major right now, or? General, general, general studies. studies. And that's a good place to start, actually. Um, you get a taste of different types of things to do. Uh, do you have an environment that you'd like to work in? Okay, okay. And that's probably a good place to start, just knowing you don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, and do you know of things that you don't want to do? Uh, I don't, I haven't really given it much thought. Okay. That will come into play. Yeah. So the things that you, you enjoy, the things you don't want to, jo want to do. Uh, for example, would you uh, drive a tractor? <laughs> so, uh, would you uh, do maintenance? Yeah. Okay. So your your ideas are open. Uh, then an another thought would be, whatever place I want to work in, how long do I want to work in? So sometimes we have ideas about things we want to do, but when we think about doing it for eight hours, you think, hmm, maybe not. Okay, so this is where narrowing things down to a hobby or an interest and a full-time job. And sometimes, and very often, we're going to go two tracks. The things that put food on the table and the things that really you absolutely love to do. Uh, my brother is a, is a teacher in, at, at a local college, <clears throat> and so he teaches music to students, but his first love is writing music. But he would st he's really good, but he probably would starve to death because uh, it's, it's not a money maker thing. So that he does two tracks. He, he teaches, he writes music, he runs groups and, on music, things like that. And those two re really bring him happiness. But so you have to think of the reality of what you want to do and also, am I going to like it? Any thoughts about being happy? What makes you happy? Working with happy people, okay. So you don't want to work with miserable people, okay. And that's, you've narrowed, narrowed things down considerably. Who would, who would you like to deal with? Okay, so it's, it's looking at uh, the people world and deciding which area do I want to go into. There are three things, I'll write this on the board, Okay, so we're looking at 
three areas of work and every single job has those three areas. Uh, so if you looked at, and, I, and your name is? Valerie. Valerie, okay, Valerie, if you had to choose one of those to spend eight hours in, what would you choose? Technology. Pardon? Technology. Now, technology will be computers for you maybe? Or technology is things that you're manipulating with your hands. So if you were a nurse, you'd be working with medical, in, medical machinery of some kind. Um, what would be your first choice of the three? Probably people. People. Okay, so your skills are in uh, helping them, or how, where are your skills? Yeah, probably helping them. Helping, okay. Have you narrowed it down to what do you want to do to help them? I don't know. I was thinking maybe law. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Something to start with, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, our college has a program in criminal justice. Would you be interested in something like that? Okay, our college has programs in nursing, medical information, uh, medical sec secretarial types of things. Any thoughts on that? Okay, so that's you're still playing with 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 the what I want to do, and but you've got the kind of a where. Okay, and let me narrow the where down: hospitals, nursing homes, medical centers, hospital. hospital. Okay, and that. The nice thing about hospital, it, it opens up so things that you can do. Uh, so if you get tired of this, you can move to here and then so on. So with criminal justice, we've got all kinds of fields of law. What kind of law would you like to work with? Probably enforcement. Okay. Okay. So being a policeman, maybe. Okay. Okay. And you again, you've narrowed things down. Good. Good job. Uh, let me pass out. And we're not going to go over all of it, but it gives you an idea of the things that we think about when we're thinking about work or careers. Now, um, when we're looking at responsibility, who, either of you want to be in charge? No. Probably eventually. Eventually, okay. Uh, would you like to work, Valerie, would you like to work for somebody then? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I didn't get your name. Pardon? Nick. Nick. Okay, Valerie and Nick. Nick, would you like to be in charge of one person, a lot of people? Mm, probably a lot of people. A lot of people. So moving up in the ranks, maybe. Okay, being in charge of a department. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, either of you like to travel? Yes. Okay. Now, the idea then is how far do you want to travel? Do you want to go just go from your your home to your job, or do you want to go to various places during the day? Various places. Various places. So, so you don't want to be just stuck behind a desk. No. Okay. And that. And Valerie, what do you think about that? So you might want to visit different centers or something like that. Okay. Now, either of you have families. Okay, so you have to th bring your family into your decision making uh, because your family depends on you and so you can't be on the road all day long. Okay, so dis your, all of your family needs really do tie in with some of the things that you have to do. Uh, would you move into another country? Yeah, yeah de you were definite about that. <laughs> Good. I'm from Africa, so I'm used to yeah, you would go back home? Yeah. Okay. Nick, would you would you travel to work in a different country? Yes, I, I was actually born in Sweden. So oh, I wouldn't mind going back so again. go back home again. Yeah, ah, nice, nice. Uh, what now? Are you aware? I'm going to go down to dissatisfaction. Do you are you aware of what you're dissatisfied with? That's a very general question. Yeah, yeah. yeah very very general. Um, have you worked at jobs where there were things at the job you didn't like? I guess the manager sometimes. Ah, okay. How you were managed then? Yeah. Okay. Valerie, have you worked with... 
Okay, so you're, you're brand new in the being managed part of that, yeah. And that's, that's going to be very interesting. One of the nice things that we do in the Career Center is we give career interest surveys. And what they do is they survey your likes and your dislikes. So the more you know about your likes and your dislikes, the more you're, again, narrowing things down. So I would encourage you, I can meet you here uh, second Thursday of the month, or you come to Fall River, which I'm there more often, and take some career tests. They're online. And then I sit down with you and I go over the, the, the results. And again, it, it, I help to interpret what you've done, but I won't tell you what to do. I, I won't say, you need to do this, you need to do that, which is helpful, I think. So let's go down to number two. And this is where all the career testing, the, the surveys uh, help with, and they help you to understand who you are and what you like and what you dislike. So let's turn the page now. Now one of the things that uh, we want to find out is exploring what's out there. Now, both of you have computers? Okay, so I want to show you a good, a good online site that you're going to use. And you're going to put on your web browser, M-A-S-S-C-I-S. -S -S. And then your, your uh, password will be Fall River. And your username will be Fall River. And we just put CC for career counselor. So let me put that on the, on the oops, I've been locked out here. Hmm. There we go. What happens when we wait too long? It puts itself to sleep. All right, back to here again. So up in your web browser, you're going to put in M-A-S-S-C-I-S. -S -S. Oops, it's telling me to wait. Okay, that's going to take you to a variety of websites. You could choose either this one or this one to click on to, and you'll be fine. Now you're going to see populations that take this type of, of survey. You're going to obviously go into the adult, and this is where your username is Fall River, Career Counseling, and then just Fall River. If you see, if you see the block down here, they're asking you for a city or a town. It's still in Massachusetts, but uh, let's say you wanted to go to Boston, then you would put in the zip code in Boston and sign in, and it would take look at that area of work in terms of pay and things like that. But let's let's stay in Fall River for a bit. And many states do have this career site. Now, again, you're going to see all kinds of sites to check out different types of jobs. I'm going to go into just plain occupations. Click into that. Okay, now, you've got a whole bunch of occupations uh, alphabetically. And so, can you, uh, can you give me a, an occupation off the top of your head? I'm sorry? Pardon? Nurse. nurse. Okay. Then we're going to click on to N. And like a nurse practitioner? All right. We'll click on to that. So the beauty of this now, what they've done is they give us an overview. I know it's too, too small for you to read right now, but it's an overview of what a nurse might do. And then over here, you have a quick 
snapshot of different things a nurse will do. And what I like is the pay. <laughs> That's always nice. Now, if you still say, yeah, that looks good. I can do that. I would enjoy that. Go over here also. And you're going to look at, let's say, employment outlook. In other words, is there going to be a need for nurses? So I click onto that, and it looks really good. OK. So uh, in this area, uh, the, there, there are quite a few openings. And uh, the nice thing about BCC, it has a very good nursing program. Hard to get in, but it has a nur good nursing program. And uh, we have a lot of, of uh, hospitals coming into our job, job search type of web that we have. And we have uh, fairs, job fairs that actually just for, for the nursing or the medical field. And we have a lot of hospitals coming in. So, so a good way. Um, can you give me a, an example of a type of field you might like to explore? Like law. law, OK. All right, so you go back. Hit L. And am I going to guess law enforcement? Yeah. OK. The hard part about using this is like looking at the yellow pages. You've got to get the right word. <laughs> so sometimes you have to look a little harder. OK. So here we have a description of what a, a police officer would do, the type of earnings. And then if you went over here, we could look. Let's take a look at Outlook. Is there going to be a need for that? OK. So it looks good. What we always have to look at, especially with areas that the town pays your salary, what do we have to worry about? Taxes. Yeah. Is the town going to pay your salary? So it's, it's, it's a pretty political type of area to get into. But once you're in it and the town is, is comfortable about taking care of their police force, good field to get into. Uh, and you can also branch off into other fields. I, I know people who, who go into law enforcement and they realize they would like to be a lawyer later on. So all kinds of branches. And with the medical field, definitely all kinds of branches that you can go into uh, because you like the environment. Here are some other things that you could do. So this is a wonderful site for just exploring that and deciding, is this for me or not? What I like about reading the description is it helps to what I, what I call get the romance out of the idea. In one minute, you think this is wonderful, and then you read about what you actually have to do. And then you want to rethink and say, eh, maybe I don't want to do that full time. Maybe I want to do it part time. So these are just ways of, of figuring that out.